Wacom Mobile Studio Pro 13-inch, a tablet PC for artists. Hello, welcome to Altpack. Recently, Wacom India sent me the Mobile Studio Pro 13-inch for review and testing. I have used the device for about a week. And in this video, we will look into the details about the product, specifications, performance and drawing experience with it. The 13-inch version of the product comes with a WQHD display with 82% Adobe RGB, Intel Core i7 processor, integrated Intel Iris Plus graphics 655, 16GB RAM and 512GB of storage. I recommend visiting the product page for the detailed information. One thing I would point out is that this device is a pen computer and not a pen display like their Cintiq devices. So you can carry it around wherever you like and work with it comes with an Intel Core i7 processor which is pretty fast. Battery life on the unit I received was about 2-3 to three hours on heavy workload which is workable for an outdoor drawing session. Screen with 82% Adobe RGB is good, however it could have been better. Here is the demo of graphical background design I created with the product. I have tried to use the process similar to that of Rob Rupel using Krita instead of Photoshop. And my apologies if I might have mispronounced his name. I will be creating a separate video about explaining the process that I used in this demo. So, follow up for the updates, I will put the link in the description of the video. Brush set I created for this artwork is available to download for free on my DeviantArt and come road pages. Download links will be provided in the description section as well. Press keys on the device helps to keep the workflow simple and fast. You may see me pressing the keys on the left side a lot. I customize the keys to my purpose. Driver which comes installed is flexible enough to make these changes. Touch gestures help in rotation panning and zooming of the canvas area effortlessly. Palm projection is good with the Krita, but I found out that it didn't work on the Blender 2.90. I think this issue is app specific. You must check if the app you want to use is optimized for small and touch displays. Overall, it was a great drawing experience and it almost felt like drawing on paper. However, it takes a while to adjust to the new workflow. To conclude, I think this device is suitable for professionals who are on the move or want to draw outdoors digitally. For the studio use, I will recommend the 16 inch version of the device. If you would like to read the detailed review of the product, you can read the article on Boris.com. I will put the link to the article in the description section. Hope to see you in the future videos. Till then, thanks for watching.